Hi guys, welcome first to YouTube video. My name is Laura and I wanted to share with you guys an unboxing of some Amazon goodies that I just recently got. So uh, if you like my video and want to subscribe, there's a subscribe button down there. Please be sure to hit it and hit the instant notification button for every time I upload. I will try and upload at least uh, once or twice a week if I can. And we'll be doing some exciting things on this channel like uh, unboxings and plan with me's and maybe some other video blogging. We'll have to see how it goes. Um, but let's get into my unboxing. So I'm just going to open it up here with my handy dandy X-Acto knife. And it's free. Turn it around here. All right, I'm just going to take my things out of the box and put them right here so we can get a look at them. And the first thing I got is a, um, a Yin Hao, uh, I think I said that right, Yin Hao. Uh, fountain pen. I'm into fountain pens. I've just uh, recently discovered them. Uh, Lamy Safari being my favorite. But I thought I would try a Ying Hao. It gets great reviews. So let's open her up and see what she looks like. Comes in a really nice little box. Got a cute little carriage uh, chariot with the two little people in it here. And I believe this pen is made in China. And it's a really good buy. It's a very inexpensive uh, fountain pen, but um, I hear that the quality is amazing. So we're gonna find that out. Um, as you can see, it comes in a, a, like I said, a cute little black box. It's got some silver writing with their um, name printed on there. And as we open it up, you can see the pen here. It's in a nice felt like, um, case so it's securely in there is there anything nope just the pen so let me pull it out i got the spider red i um, thought it sounded really intriguing i mean who wouldn't want a spider red pen so let me pull this out and i'm going to move this box over out of our way and this is the pen here um pretty weighty pen it's um got a little something on it there but it's a pretty weighty pen. It's nice in the hands. It's got some gold uh, band around it with the, it's an X450, it's a Yin Hao, Yin Hao X450. And it's got a nice clip, nice tight clip. And the barrel feels almost, almost like glass really. But it has a beautiful like red, I'm not sure you guys can see that. It's got some beautiful red in it like a light red and let's see if we can pull the cap off and I got one with a uh, medium nib I like medium nibs I know a lot of the Japanese and uh, Chinese fountain pens come with fine nibs um, I find that I don't like those as much as I do a medium nib so I like a broader stroke even though I do have a hand a heavy hand when it comes to writing but the nib is beautiful it's in like a uh, gold and silver thing I do believe it is a stainless steel nib and it's got some a textured grip here and it looks not too bad um, the grip is is not bad I know with my Lamy Safari it, it really has a, a grip that kind of forces you on how to hold your pen this this doesn't is not like this it just kind of makes it steady in your hand uh, let me in take off the barrel and see what we have inside so we do have a converter this is called a converter and this is how you load ink into your pen it's a plunger system is basically what this is so you just kind of screw this plunger up and this pops out of the um, thing yep there it goes and you would just put this down into a bottle of ink and you would just uh, use use your plunger once you get it into the bottle of ink and you would just bring it up 
like so, and it would fill with ink on your um, with your pen. So that's really nice that a pen at this, um, I think I paid maybe less than $9 for it, I think, on Amazon. And for it to come with a converter like that is, is, uh, is really nice. It's a nice beginner pen. I've watched um, Goulet Pens do a review on this and it was really good. Barrel's nice. It's got nice threads on the inside, gold, if you can see in there. So I'm gonna put this back and screw that back on and just put that back on. So if anyone's interested in getting into fountain pens, I highly recommend this one. I'll do a pen test on it on another video, but this is this is a nice beginner pen. So I got that. The next thing I bought um, was this Moleskine um, limited edition Toy Story journal. Um, if anybody knows me, they know that I really, really love Disney. And in fact, you'll probably see a lot of Disney things on my channel. So be sure and watch that for those in the future. Uh, but this this was a Moleskine head. I saw it and I'm like, oh, I've got to have that. So I have a thing about paper and journals and this is right up my alley. So I'm gonna open this up and let's see if I can do this without hurting my book. There we go, I think I got it. There we go, I got it. So I'm gonna take this off. Sorry for the rattling on the paper. So it comes with this nice elastic band in like turquoise color. Uh, well, more like a sky blue, I guess, which matches in um, Woody and um, Buzz's little boots and shoe here. And it's got a um, jacket on it. So we're gonna, I'm gonna take this off. Oh, how cute. Look at the back of the jacket. It's got some writing on it. It's got wish list and limited edition and some little Toy Story alien uh, rocket and all that. So that's really cute. So let's take a look at this. So it feels really nice. If this is a hardbound uh, book and I do a lot of journaling. And so anytime I can get my hands on a nice notebook, I'm all there. So opening up the inside, it has a uh, place, a nameplate for you. and even has a place for a reward if I lost it, uh, yeah. And you got um, the army guys on little heart balloons all over it. So that's really, really cute there. And then it goes right into the papers. And I do prefer lined for a journal. I'm, um, I do have a bullet journal that I do use, that's dot grid but I do prefer when I'm keeping a personal journal to have lines because I do have a little problem with writing downhill when I'm writing, so I do like the lines going across there. Uh, paper quality feels pretty good. It's um, probably at about 100 GSM, maybe 120. I'll have to check that out. And uh, really nice. It's got plenty of papers for your writing. Oh, it's even got a bookmark back here. And right here comes with a beautiful uh, sky blue bookmark that matches the elastic on the front. And very nice to mark your places with that. And in the back, it comes with a card. You've got a friend in me. Let's see if you guys can see it. You've got a friend in me, Sheriff Woody. And it just says Moleskine with a thing there. It does have a pocket and inside the pocket uh, and it's a nice sturdy pocket too as you can see it's on the sides it's got the turquoise that matches and a nice sturdy pocket inside and it comes with this moleskine um, paperwork and uh, a little quality control sticker there so it kind of gives you a background i guess a history and a legend on moleskine moleskin i think it's moleskin I think I've been saying it wrong. Moleskine. Moleskine. So we have that. But I love this card. You've got a friend in me. I think this is really cute. I ordered one the other day that, um, that, was, uh, that came in yesterday that's a little bit of a smaller version than this. But these cards are so cute. So I'm going to put that right back in the pocket. And on the back, you just have the Moleskine... Uh, logo here and the strap. So I'm just going to put the strap over 
and very nice very nice so if you guys are looking into getting journaling or if you know somebody or someone that's really into Toy Story or Disney this would be good good for them and I think this one was less than $20 I think it was about $19 of course I'm a Prime member so I do get free shipping on that but an excellent buy for this I can't wait to journal in this one this is going to be great so we're going to put this aside and the last thing I got was this um, little more uh, bullet journal. And I've got some interest in bullet journaling. And I saw this on another YouTuber's video. And I thought it was really interesting. So I thought maybe I would um, check it out and see kind of what it, you know bullet journaling is all about. And how to kind of start a bullet journal and keep it. Um, I will say one thing about me as you guys will learn along the way that uh, sometimes I start habits and kind of fall off the bandwagon along the way. So I'm trying to work on that. But bullet journaling is my new thing. So we're going to try and do that. And I like she, uh, the YouTuber really re uh, reviewed this and really liked it. So I'm going to give this one a shot. So let's take it out of the packaging. You can see I did get the blue and blue being one of my favorite colors next to purple. So let me open this up. I can already see it's got some cute little stickers in the back here. Put that aside, and let's take a look at the stickers that it comes with. It comes with a book list, a wish list, must-haves, cleaning habits, places to visit, happy birthday. Oh, look, it comes with the with the months. Isn't that cute? That is really really sweet. I've haven't I've yet to see one that came with um, the stickers like these. These are really nice stickers. And then it comes with favorite recipes, ideas, part of this fitness, goals, budgeting, a movie list, and meal planning. So lots of stickers there to get you started with some bullet journaling. Uh, the cover of this is uh, really soft. It's kind of a faux leather type. I know it's not leather. I think it's a faux leather. And um, the price point on this was, I think, about $9. So once more, not an expensive option. And for that, you even get a pen loop there. And you get an elastic band to keep it closed here. And on the back, it's got a little glue spot there for the thing. There it goes. You have their logo. And it does not come with a pocket. That's the only thing about this one. This one does not have a pocket on it. Um, but that's okay. You know, I really don't have to have a pocket. I've got other ones that do, but I love the pen loop because it's rare that they're coming with pen loops. So let's get inside this one. Once more, you have your nameplate for your personal information here. Um, it gives you a little idea, be a little more selective about your to-do list, do a little more each day than you think you can, than you possibly can. Then you get into your key on these two pages here. And two more of the key. So you get four key, four pages of keys. You get four index pages here for content page. And then you jump right into your bullet journal. And the pages are marked. It looks like the bullet journal is a little more, um, the dots are a little wider than say a Loistrom uh, 1917 but still really nice nice paper quality this is probably another 100 gsm paper we'll have to do a pen test at a later time on this but i love that the pages are numbered and that's what you really need in a true bullet journal and it does come with two ribbons that you can uh, use a, a beige and a blue so it matches their their colors of their pin loop and their elastic and the front blue of the thing and you have, let's get into the back here. See how many pages we have. Of dot grid, you have uh, 153. So quite a bit of pages to do what you need to do with this dot grid. And then you have some blank pages here. And it looks like you have quite a bit of these. You have probably about 50 of those. And then you have some perforated pages page as well that is in quarters that you can use and, and cut there as well. So several pages of that to do what you need. 
But all in all, a pretty nice little book. Uh, great for portability. If you want to take it out, you can just, you know, pop the thing in, put your pen in, and throw it in your bag, and you're ready to roll. So awesome. And these stickers are just really, really nice. So I look forward to using this little guy and um, seeing how what I could do with this. But that's it for my haul. I just wanted to pop in and do my first video and kind of get that out of the way and I appreciate you guys for taking the time to um, tune in and give and just you know just give me a thumbs up if you like it and please remember to subscribe down below and I'll link everything that I purchased down below for you in case you're interested and with that I'm off have a good one bye guys